Alrighty, I got a, a construction update for you guys today and I'm gonna talk about something about the future in this video involving the kids area, okay? So stay tuned for that. The Super Soaker uh, water slide, I was about to say website, is being reconstructed. So they're doing it on the land and then they're gonna lift it up into place. So they've started that, as you can see, they've been getting ready. So over the next couple days and week, you'll see them working on that. Tundra Twister had no activity at all today, which is really, worrisome okay because this ride is down to the like final straw so the fact that there wasn't a single construction worker on site this was filmed at around 4 p.m by the way so construction workers should have been there uh they were installing the netting uh around yukon that's those vehicles in the little vortex lake there um so yeah when we go over to Snoopy's, I'm almost wondering if wonderland is making Snoopy's racing railway the priority because um, a lot of the construction workers are over there. Look how busy and active this construction site is at the exact same time. This is 4 p.m. as well. So here they are busting away. Um, lots of progress. Um, working on the midway. The brickwork is already being laid down. They're putting down the queue line posts, the fence posts as well. So lots of work. Literally, this thing's moving quickly now. So hopefully this is ready um, for, you know, the park's opening day because this is... To, truthfully, this looks a lot more progressed than Yukon was before their media day, if you remember that. So I honestly have faith that this might be ready, and maybe that's because Wonderland is prioritizing Snoopy's Racing Railway. Um, but I wanted to talk about the future of Planet Snoopy and how important the kids' area and families are to Canada's Wonderland and how untouched and how little land of Dinosaurs Alive was used. So from this angle, look, I'm going to get you a, a picture too with some drawings on it. Um, the second launch building is essentially where the queue line begins, if you can imagine that. You'll see it in a second. But up that leads up to there is a midway. And then you can see there's a whole lot of land next to that giant dirt pile. It goes all the way around too that can be used for a future expansion. I'll show you guys. So right here on the screen, you know, the red area, future kids expansion. The black is a service road. The green is the queue line. And the yellow is the, a, uh, the midway that leads down to Planet Snoopy. Um, with the theme that they chose for Snoopy's Racing Railway, very campish. I honestly predict that they will build a Camp Snoopy, similar to what I predicted in 2022 for 2023, that I thought we would start seeing um, Camp Snoopy up there. I don't think they'll retheme any of Planet Snoopy to Camp Snoopy. That just doesn't make sense cost-wise. But I've seen crazier things happen, so it's not a totally out of the picture. I just think that they'll have three kids area. They'll have, you know, Kidsville, then Planet Snoopy, and then um, Camp Snoopy. I think the red area will house Camp Snoopy as well. Now, I am hearing rumblings, guys. I'm hearing rumblings that Mindbuster is in its poorest condition ever. Um, I'm hearing from multiple people that riding it is super uncomfortable. Um, I can't say everything that I've heard, but I've just heard it's, it's not living its best life this season. Um, and they didn't put much work into it this year. I'm, I'm really shocked at how little work went into Mindbuster. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. That Mindbuster, I don't... I, who knows? Honestly, like, this is getting a little worrisome because Mindbuster removal wasn't really a part of my itinerary for um, the future of Canada's Wonderland. And if it does get removed, that changes things. And it doesn't change things in a way that I think I would want it to change things. As much as I would love a GCI at Wonderland, it's not something I want right now. Um, but like I said, if you see one of the wooden coasters close, then the 2025 coaster might be one of those new innovative GCIs. I'm still holding out that we're going to see the mock double launch or the Intamin multi-launch coaster, but, uh, I have no idea. Mindbuster does sit in the way of prime real estate for the water park expansion. So that is one reason I could see it getting removed. So it doesn't necessarily mean a GCI, but uh, I don't know. I'm just hearing really bad things about Mindbuster guys. So keep your eyes on it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.